Hello, it's not a very nice day, but I just thought I'd nip outside and show you this uh, N-fed wire, half-wave wire. 80 meter half-wave, it's M0YKS in the snow, sleet, rain, whatever you want to call it, it's very unpleasant. Let's take a look at the antenna. So the configuration is like this, it's connected to the steel pole, which is straight into the soil. As you can see, there's a drop-off below it. So on this transformer, I've attached a copper tube, which you can see is connected to the base of the bracket and that terminates into the ground. This has given me a really nice grounding, a good RF earth and then I've just got some heavy coax connecting straight up. The length of this coax is just over 100 feet and as you can see the wire itself I picked today because you can actually see the wire with the bits of snow stuck to it. It starts off reasonably low angle and then it runs up the house into an inverted V configuration got a little inductor coil there and it's a really good antenna. I've had this antenna for just about a year now so it's just coming up to one year and I bought it it's a commercially made one that's the manufacturer very good antenna. The antenna itself is connected up there that's a high point that's about 30 feet and as you can see it's out in the clear as it goes down the garden to the bottom and it terminates where we started off with the video. On this side it runs down another 30 feet and it's quite high at the end of the telegraph pole at the bottom of the garden. I've already covered the antenna before in a previous installation video. I've had it for 12 months now, like I said, and uh, I've had some good experiences. So yeah, I mainly use it for 80 and 40 meters. But as you can see, I've got the vertical antenna, which is also equally uh, usable on 40 and 80. But I mainly use the vertical for 40. It kind of outdoes the, the wire for the DX. But I must say, this N-fed wire has performed well. I've obviously got the beam down there as well for the higher portions of the band. So yeah, it's a great antenna. Easy to install. I used a telescopic pole just to clip it up to its fixing point, which is just up there, as you've seen already. So yeah, that's the UK antenna's long uh, wire, N-fed, half wave on 80 meters. Replaced the 8040 dipole, which I recently uh, made a couple of years back. And I've had a few of those, and I've had quite a lot of different wire antennas up, and most of them pull in quite a bit of noise. So this N-fed wire is definitely the quietest out of the bunch. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to run through the bands. I'm going to try and make a contact on most of the bands using the N-fed wire. So obviously some of the other antennas I've got are better on different bands, but I'm just letting you see just how well and versatile this particular antenna is. It works extremely good on 40 and 80. And I have made quite a lot of DX on 80 meters on the top end of 75 meters. I've worked into America, North America, South America, Central America, and we've also had some good European stuff. So let's take a look and see how it performs. So I've just switched the uh, radio frequency up and we're on 70 megahertz. Just to demonstrate we can pull signals in. This band's particularly quiet, don't get much on it if anything. SWR below two on that one, so we've got a, an, op, an optimal workable choice there. So the next one we're going to go down to is 50 megahertz. That's 1.5, 1.1. Even better. So naturally, without using the ATU, we're resonant on six meters. 10 meters. So one or two signals coming in, perfectly resonant one to one, we'll just try 29 megs, a little bit higher but again workable with the ATU, the AM side, and that's a 1.2 to 1.5, so that's the 10 meter side of the antenna, we'll just go back on the SSB, try and make a contact. United Norway, Stroke, Ontario, Honolulu, Seven, Ontario, anyway. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo, Sierra. Uh, Mike Zero Station, please come again. Okay, thanks very much. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Simon. The call is Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo, Sierra. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo, Sierra. You're five by seven. To the north of England, over. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra, this is United Norway, slash 
Ocean Henry, Seven Ocean. Thank you very much, Simon. I could be you very well. Five seven to five eight. Maxim Almaty, Kazakhstan. Five seven to five eight. Maxim Almaty, Kazakhstan. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. This is United Nancy slash Ocean Henry, Seven Ocean. So yeah, that were a decent start. That's 10 metres with a long fed, long wire, end fed, halfway for 80, and uh, 133 feet of wire in the sky in the Kazakhstan. So yeah, good signal coming in. And as you can see, not too much interference on the screen. I'm just going to move down the band, and we're on 12 metres now. So we've got the uh, level set to, that's a standard 7. We'll drop it down a little bit. Clean up the uh, scope, see what we're picking up. A little bit quiet on here for voice activity. So again, noise level acceptable. Reasonably low on this N-fed wire, that's uh, 24 megahertz. Let's just give it a quick whistle. <laughs> Almost. As you can see, low SWR reading on that band. Let's move down. So again, a nice clean, noiseless reception on 15 meters with the N-fed half wave. So yeah, you can see, again, below 1.3. No ATU in line. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. Mike Zero, Yankee, Kilo, Sierra. Yeah, okay, Simon. I catch up the sound because of stupid Russia made QRM. We are not showing you five by six on the peak. Antenna your side, but the propagation is unstable. Thanks for coming back and thanks for new band operator name. Honest. Mike Zero, Yankee, Kilo, Sierra, Yankee, Lima, Free, Bravo, Florida. Uh, Yankee, Lima, Free, Bravo, Florida. Nice to meet you, Yanis, uh, especially on a new band. Just doing a little experiment on the N-Fed wire. I normally use the beam, I'm just trying out something for a new video. And uh, you're 5 and 7, 5 and 7 coming through on my N-Fed wire. I'll just uh, flick to the beam, I'm on the beam now, I'm not sure if that makes a big difference. I'll come back and give you another report, Yanis, go ahead. Okay, Simon, yeah. <laughs> in beam you're plus uh, 10 dB, uh, 5, 6 or now 10 dB, Roger? Yeah, Roger, same, same wise this side, 10 dB over, so massive difference. But uh, it's nice to know that we can use the wire if we need it. Uh, for people who can't afford a beam but a uh, big difference obviously great to work here have a good uh, weekend and many dx over yeah, Roger, Simon. thanks uh, yeah very nice you sounded like bbc radio last uh, transmission time and uh, russian uh, stupid russian qrm <laughs> doesn't matter okay Simon. Uh, thanks uh, have a good uh, weekend to you and yours thanks for your band bye well, very nice signal from switzerland here on 17 thanks for uh, hearing me there uh, my name is Simon, Sierra India, Mike Oscar November, and I'm located in the north of England. Just running an M-fed wire at the moment, trying a little experiment, and I've got you a good signal, 5 by 8 to 9, from Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo, Sierra, over. Okay, Roger, Roger, sir. Your signal, 5, 7, 5, 7, good modulation. Mi antenna, I one element, delta loop, mi power, I one kilowatt. 73, good EX, good weekend, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. HB9 FSL M0 YKS, great job, solid S9. 73, good DX, and have a great weekend. Good weekend, thank you, QRZ. Yeah, good morning. Thanks for coming back. Uh, you're also 5 by 9 just uh, experimenting with the N-Fed wire today. And you're 5 and 9 sounding very good indeed. Have a great weekend and nice to work the special event. Over. Yeah, thanks very much. I'm on the beam now. I don't think there's much difference. Catch you later. Good DX. Bye-bye. So yeah, only difference is the noise level. So we've got 30 meters, 10 megahertz, and uh, a little bit noisy today, to be fair. But it works well. It receives a nice uh, data signal. SWR is a little bit high on this band. It's about two.
but it's workable. So that's 10 meters. So as we continue this experiment with the half wave end fed wire for 80 meters, it seems to be working out quite well. And uh, right now I'm on 40 meters. It's just coming up to launch time, so conditions aren't particularly brilliant, but we've got one or two signals coming in. Uh, noise levels during the day, a little bit higher, but we're getting about an S4 of noise, so it's pretty good for noise. That's the main reason why I like the antenna. The 80 meter and 40 meter bands are very quiet compared to the dipole. So right now I'm on the 40 meter band where the band is a full wavelength. I've done quite a few videos through the year. So it's pretty good on this band. I've also got the vertical, I'm just going to switch to that. So there's a big difference in signal strength with the vertical and the wire. But when it comes to the DX, the vertical has the advantage. The inner G and the conditions today are pretty flat. You can see it works quite well as a wire. So I've compared it previously to the dipole. And what I like about this antenna is the low noise level. Even though today is particularly noisy, uh, it's a pretty good day to try it out because we've got a lot of snow about and uh, there's moisture lying on the wire so it does create a lot more noise than usual. But not spoiling the fun. So I've, noise, I've heard noise really bad in, on the dipole in the snowy conditions. So yeah, some great signals. I don't really think 80 meters will be active. I'll have to try that later. I can tell you, as you can see, the noise level is low. And uh, I'll probably have to make some more separate videos for this band. And we're working around around about 75 meters making some DX so I'm pleased to say I've already made plenty of that but we don't look like we're working anybody on 80 at this precise moment during the uh, lunch time so that's the story but low noise level nevertheless and let's just quickly check the residency I'll just make sure the ATU is off for so yeah we're below two top end of the band we'll just move down further down the band so pretty stable for and as I get lower down the band we've got virtual no movement on the SWR I'll just demonstrate it on 40 before we finish the video for the SWR for one to one and bottom of the band for again good good SWR reading that's it half wave end fed wire for 80 meters which is a full wave on 40 I will make some 40, 80 meter noise on a separate video when the band comes open. But I just wanted to go through it and uh, let you know that after having this antenna for 12 months now, it stood up well to the winter, uh, the summer, the wind, the rain, and now the snow. And the uh, performance is really good, especially the noise level. So I, I can't really see me putting the dipole back up. Uh, I'll be sticking with this NFED uh, 80 meter half wave antenna. So, hope you've enjoyed this one. I just wanted to come back and show you a little bit uh, just how good it works across the whole range of HF. This is M0 YKS, stuck in on a snowy Saturday. YouTube channel, 73. Thanks for watching.